Sinocolyopteryx is a genus of carnivorous compsognathid theropod dinosaurs from the lower Cretaceous Yixian formation of China. While similar to the related Washagnathus, Sinocolyopteryx were larger. The type specimen, at 2. 37 meters in length, in 2007 was the largest known compsognathid exemplar. In 2012 an even larger specimen was reported. Assigned specimen CAGS IGT1 the type species Sinocolyopteryx hegus was named and described in 2007 by Ji Xuan, Ji Chang, Lu Zhengkang, and Yuan Chongxi. The generic name is derived from Sine, Latin for the Chinese and Greek Kappa Alpha Lambda Sigma, Kalos, Beautiful, and Pi Tau Rho Upsilon Xi, Turix, Feather. The large size of this giant compsognath had lent Sinocolyopteryx its specific name, Hegus, meaning giant. The holotype, JMP V05801, was discovered at Hengdeozi, in Saihetun, in Liaoning Province, from the giant Shangu beds of the Yixian formation dating from the Baremian Aption, about 125 million years old. It consists of a nearly complete skeleton with skull, compressed on a single plate, of an adult individual. Extensive remains of proto feathers have been preserved. In 2012, a second specimen was described, Kagzig T1, of an individual larger than the holotype. The skull was about 10% longer, the feet about a third, a difference explained by positive allometry. The specimen consists of a partial skull, tail, hands, feet and ribcage. It shows filaments on the tail. Sinocolyopteryx was a bipedal predator. The preserved length of the holotype specimen is 237 centimeters. Its weight was estimated by Gregory S. Paul in 2010 at 20 kilograms. Sinocolyopteryx is distinguished from Washagnathus, as well as other compsognathids, by its relatively long hands in relation to its arms. The arms and hindlimes were also longer overall than in other compsognathids, a feature possibly related to its size. Life restoration Sinocolyopteryx had an elongated head with a pointed snout, showing a convex upper profile. There were four teeth in the premaxilla which were small but exceptionally had denticles on their front edges. Only six, larger, teeth were present in the maxilla of the holotype specimen but the number of its tooth positions could not be adequately determined. Specimen CAGZIG T1 preserves 10 maxillary tooth sockets with room for one or two more in damaged areas. The ugle was a strongly built element with a high rising front branch that formed part of the lower front edge of the eye socket. The lower jaw lacked an opening in its outer side. The vertebral column consisted of 11 cervical, 12 dorsal, 5 sacral and at least 49 caudal vertebrae. The point of the tail is missing. In the tail, the spines and chevrons strongly inclined to the back. The gastralia had very short lateral segments. The arm had a short humerus and also the lower arm was short and elegant with an ulna showing only a weakly developed olecranon process on its back upper end. The hand was very elongated though, as long as the ulna and upper arm combined. The second metacarpal was expanded at the top at the side of the first metacarpal, making the entire metacarpus more compact. The second claw was elongated, as long as the thumb claw. The third metacarpal was rather short and carried a thin, third, finger. In the pelvis there was a little notch in the front edge of the ilium. The relatively long shaft of the ischium curved downwards. The hindlime was elongated, largely because of a long lower leg, having 90% of the length of the thigh bone. The foot was also long, especially in the metatarsus. Like many other theropods of the Yixian formation, Sinocolyopteryx was preserved with protofeathers, simple filamentous integument, very similar to that found in Sinosauropteryx. The integument of Sinocolyopteryx differ in length across the body, with the longest protofeathers covering the hips, base of the tail, and back of the thighs. These longest protofeathers measured up to 10 cm in length. Protofeathers were also found on the metatarsus. While these were not nearly as long or modern as the corresponding feathers of four-winged dinosaurs such as Microraptor and Pedopena. They do indicate that foot feathers or similar structures first arose in dinosaurs much more basal or primitive than previously known. Sinocolyopteryx feeding on Synornithosaurus Sinocolyopteryx was by its describers assigned to the Compsognathidae. This cladogram shows the position of Sinocolyopteryx in the Compsognathidae according to a study by Dal Sasso and Maganuko in 2011, the large size of Sinocolyopteryx compared to its relatives is also notable, and may indicate a trend towards large size among compsognathids. Similar to the trends towards larger sizes in other dinosaurian lineages. 
Abdominal contents of the holotype undigested integument within the abdominal cavity of the holotype. The well preserved skeleton of the Sinocolyopteryx holotype contained the partial leg of a dromaeosaur within the abdominal cavity. Comprising a complete lower leg and foot with toes and claws in their natural, articulated position. While the leg part, about one foot long, is very large in relation to the abdominal cavity, it is clearly situated within it, lying between the ribs. G and colleagues in 2007 suggested that this could indicate it preyed upon the smaller, bird like dinosaur. This discovery indicated that Sinocolyopteryx may have been an agile, active, fierce predator, especially since other compsognathids have been found with lizards and small mammals in their abdominal cavities. In 2012, the dromaeosaur was tentatively identified as an individual of Sinornithosaurus with a length of 1. 2 meters. The 2012 study also reported newly discovered remains of prey animals. Above the dromaeosaurid leg, feathers are visible. Below it two clusters of digested food can be seen. It was suggested that the feathers had belonged to a bird and were with the leg still present in the stomach. The digested food would, using the preserved digestive tract of Cypionix as a reference, have been positioned in the duodenum. The C-shaped abdominal contents of this specimen appear to reflect of the original contour of the digestive tract. Sinocolyopteryx feeding on Confucius ornus in addition to the dromaeosaur leg, four irregularly shaped stones with a diameter between 15 and 20 mm were found in the abdomen. With no similar stones present in any other portions of the skeleton or embedded in the surrounding rock. The authors interpreted these as gastroliths similar to those found with Nquebosaurus and Baryonyx. Other theropods, such as Caudipteryx and a Mongolian ornithomimid, were also found with gastroliths, though in those cases the stones were much more numerous and smaller in size. G and colleagues speculated that, since the later two dinosaurs were probably primarily herbivores, the number and size of gastroliths may correspond with diet, that is, herbivores ingested many small stones, while carnivores ingested only a few larger stones to aid in digestion. However, the 2012 study could find no gastroliths with the second specimen and therefore concluded that the stones with the holotype were swallowed by accident. In any case no special gizzard would have been present. The second specimen, Kagzig T1, also preserves the remains of several meals. Disarticulated bones were found, in front of the lower ischia, identified as belonging to at least two individuals of Confucius Ornus Sanctus, a basal bird that is very common in the formation. Also a 13.5 cm long scapula was discovered, belonging to someone. 5 m long herbivorous ornithischian, perhaps Ueosaurus or Acidicosaurus species. The bone surface of the scapula looked as if it had been etched by stomach acid for about 13 days, leading to the conclusion the birds were swallowed later and in quick succession. This again would indicate a high metabolism for Sinocolyopteryx, necessitating a regular food intake. Stomach contents of Kagzig T1 that the second specimen in a short period of time caught two birds, together with the bird feather remains in the holotype stomach, might be an indication that Sinocolyopteryx specialized in such prey. Even the Sinornithosaurus might conform to this pattern as the authors considered it a possibly volant form. In 2011 a specimen of Microraptor was reported with a bird in its stomach and seen as proof that the former were arboreal. The 2012 study denied the relevance of flying prey for this issue as Sinocolyopteryx was in all likelihood cursorial, or ground-dwelling, and yet apparently quite capable of catching birds. G. By using stealth attack, a method employed by many modern cursorial predators of fowl. Thanks for watching.